I just um, this morning I was able to see one of um, Jordan Belfort's uh, videos interviewing Mike Koenigs. Okay. Uh, it's an it's actually an episode of the Wolf's Den. Okay. I love that show. <clears throat> I love that show. The show where he uh, the show where jo Jordan Belfort grilled Grant Cardone's ass. <laughs> That's how I started watching The Wolves then, okay? Uh, he, was, he was interviewing Mike Koenigs, uh, one of the top branding experts in, uh, in the U.S. It's entitled, um, How to Get Paid for Who You Are. Okay, that's the title of the episode. <clears throat> well, uh, I learned a lot. Okay? I learned a lot from that episode it's about uh, personal branding. And it led me, uh, it suddenly led me to that um, that scene in Iron Man 2 where Tony Stark uh, told Nick Fury this you can't afford me kasi kinukuha siyang kinukuha siya ni Nick Fury maging consultant for the Avengers not as an active member at first okay. <clears throat> this was Iron Man 2 okay. and then uh, Tony said you can't afford me and walks away yeah, so let's, let's stop it there When you're uh, when you're building a personal brand, you have to know your personal worth. Okay. You have to know your personal worth. Me, I'm slowly getting it. I'm slowly getting the idea of what my personal worth is. Well, number one for me is content creation. Okay. It's the foundation for for my brand. Okay. <clears throat> although my uh, although my name includes H Bach home business advocate and consultant the foundation of my brand is content all right if someone is going to um, uh, temporarily lure me away from creating content well they got they gotta pay me almost twice as much okay they gotta pay me almost twice as much because well they're Basically, they're going to they're going to make me um, forego uh, creating creating my content. They're going to make me forego creating my content. Okay. Hinuugot nila ako mula sa oras ko ng pag, uh, paggawa ng paggawa ng free content. Okay. When you don't have free content, okay, you don't have any place in the market. Okay. No one will know you. You exist. Okay. If no one knows me, I exist. How can I get clients? Get the picture? Okay. So, the first uh, sentence that comes to mind, that will come to mind, come to my mind from now on, are these, uh, uh, is this. You can't afford me. So I'm I'm making that uh, statement one of my basis for my uh, what you call this for my meetup fees. Okay, if you're going to pull me away from my content creation hours, well, pay me twice as much okay? because I know my personal worth. I know my worth in the marketplace. I know that I exist in the marketplace. So, you can't afford me. I uh, got a hold of one of Robert Kiyosaki's uh, YouTube videos. That's the title. That, that the title has "Brave New World" in in it. Now, what caught my fancy was. He mentioned about the new definition of PhD. Okay? If you don't know, uh, if you don't know Robert Kiyosaki's story, here it is. He was born in a middle class family. Uh, born from a middle class family with a um, with a father who's really smart. He has a PhD in education, but he they never got ahead financially, right? So that set. 
that said, uh, that said, uh, gave the new definition of PhD. Basically, those three signify one thing if you have all three. Poor, helpless, desperate. Right? You have this. Well, if you have a poor mindset, you're always desperate to to earn money. You're always looking out for a job. That you're helpless. Like uh, you're gonna you're gonna go on blame. Oh, ah, the government is. Uh, ganito ang gobyerno namin, palpak ang gobyerno namin. Um, ganito yung, ano eh, ba bakit ganito sistema? Unfair sa akin. Nasa anong ustisya? Oh, parang ganun din ang ganun nyo. Ganun din ang, mga, ganun yung mga usual excuses nyo. So, well, Robert Kiyosaki was right on that. Okay? It's the new meaning of PhD. Always have financial goals. Always have goals with your money. Okay. Always have a positive abundance mindset. Okay. So, para maiwasan yung maging PhD. Poor, helpless, and desperate. Remember that. Now, I might leave, um, I might leave a link to that particular video in the description okay you might leave a link of, of that in the description so check it out okay uh, i'm gonna also gonna take this time to um, endorse uh, something to you guys it's called food panda right i'm going to use it later on It's a lifesaver. It's a lifesaver. These, uh, these time, in the, it's a lifesaver these days because well, nearly all. What do you? What? Wala nganga kami nganga. Well, I can, I can, I can, I can, uh, I can do prolonged fasting because of, because of. Because of how I, because of my mute line, kasi nag intermittent fasting ako, everybody knows that. So, kaya ko. I can, I can, I can forgo snacks. I forgo, nope. So, yun na. Uh, for breakfast, lunch, kanina, twice akong gumamit ng food panda for my food, breakfast at saka lunch. Now, uh, mas maraming, mas maraming choices up to now ang food panda kaysa, kaysa grab food. Okay, so I'll be I'll be taking time to I'll also be promoting I'll also be promoting grab food. So if I were you, if you're living in the Philippines, food banda is my number one choice. Second is grab food. Now I'll also be leaving links of that in the description. Okay, take that and done. We've been told by news agencies around the world, and not, not just here in the Philippines, that there is a new normal. Well, I need to break it to you guys. There's no such thing as a new normal. It's another, uh, it's another ploy by the mainstream media to, well, um, uh, all this, keep us from hoping. That well, everything's gonna be better. If you think that well, because of because of this new normal that 
not is going to be better think again think of your own life all right think of your own life as your own normal right so again there's no such thing as a new normal take it We've been um, <clears throat> we've been fed with news all our lives, okay. and these times are no different. But did you know that too much awareness is bad? Yeah, even too much awareness is bad. Well, <clears throat> too little awareness, of course, definitely it's bad because well, you're. You're either misinformed or uh, not informed too much of what's going, what's happening. Okay, that's bad. Because you're, if you're, uh, because that's withholding, that's withholding information. Okay. Now, the mainstream media can be can also be accused of too much awareness. Right now, they're not. They they are doing their job in. In preventing too little awareness okay they're very good at it but they tend to be overzealous so they <clears throat> they tend to um, hyper inform they tend to oversell what's uh, what's needed to be known okay too much awareness can also cause stress paranoia and well sleepless nights basically okay if you're experiencing information overload well here's a simple tip of mine all right it's your choice if you want to follow it or not you either sleep it off or do something that you're passionate about Right. To take your mind off, off, uh, off the, um, off the information overload. Okay. <clears throat> Too much input of the same type of information can be stressful. All right. So you, you guys gotta remember that. Okay. Remember that LinkedIn. Too much awareness is bad. I'm just chilling right now. Um, I'm going to um, practice one of my decks while I listen to Eric Clapton over there. Okay, <clears throat> which leads me to um, which leads me to this entry. Okay. We all have a um, we all have a go-to mental stimulant, so to speak something to something to trigger our brain from um, from doing something creative okay this is my go-to mental stimulant okay music music then this okay the Yu-Gi-Oh card game but my go-to okay? my absolute go-to is music okay and I have particular genres for it my preferred genres are, are rock and Eric Clapton's genre, blues. Okay. <clears throat> Music uh, has has two effects for me. Uh, affects me two ways. It either well chills me out, like what it's doing right now, or uh, inspires me to create to inspires ideas <clears throat> in my brain right it stimulates my brain in well in creating ideas for content for business for my brand or basically just to um, basically just to inspire inspire me on something okay <clears throat> what is your go-to mental stimulant Comment below, okay? Comment below.
I'm uh, waiting for my waiting for our order from Grab Food to arrive. And uh, well, while I'm waiting, let's do this. Uh, let's do this entry. I saw one of um, one episode of Tea with Gary V last night. I saw it live. Okay? I saw the live stream. I even left the comment. <clears throat> Gary Vaynerchuk was uh, talking to this guy, uh, split screen, split screen and all, and he was telling him to, well, to basically just be yourself when you, uh, when you put content, when you put yourself out there. Because you can't fool anyone, right? He's right on that. These days, when you got a brand, you got a business, you just can't fool. As I was saying, these days, if you have a brand or business, okay, you just can't fool anybody. All right? The scams of old are e easily get caught. Okay? The posers, no different. All right? <clears throat> You can't fool, basically you can't fool anybody when it comes to uh, uh, putting yourself out there, your content, or your, uh, your logo, okay? The, your best bet is to be yourself, okay? Gary V was right on, uh, on, on, how he, on how he advised that caller, okay? Because, well... Basically, you can't fool anyone. So you might as well be yourself. When you put your content out there, be truthful, be honest, be straight to the point, and well, have fun. All right? Have fun. Have fun is actually being yourself. Have fun, ha having fun is authenticity. And authenticity these days sells. Okay? Remember that, authenticity sells. I just received word that um, my country's lawmakers are trying to pass a bill that says, one of its provisions, <clears throat> one of its provisions says that um, wearing of face masks will be mandatory as long as the quarantine uh, as long as this is going on, baga. So, something to that effect. I don't think these lawmakers are are well informed as to how uh, face masks should be used. Okay, crisis or no crisis. I shouldn't be talking about this disease or this virus or anything related to it all right don't feed the fear but news like this is forcing me to again so pagbigyan ang matanda figuratively the wearing of face masks will not flatten the curve Wearing face masks is not a permanent solution. Okay? Ito ang opinion ko. Okay? I am coming from being uh, being a graduate of a, of a paramedical course. Okay? I know based on my training, based on my five and a, based on my five and a half years of taking a uh, physical therapy school. <clears throat> Here are my suggestions. Okay. Strictly enforced social distancing. Number two. That's number one. Number two. Strictly enforced droplet etiquette, which includes, well, that now includes cough, cough and sneeze etiquette. Kasi, pwede mo yun. Droplet etiquette. I just coined the term. Number three, well,
let the people go back to work. Okay? Just let the people go back to work. You know three solutions go. Siyempre, num- Siyempre, number one doon, again, strictly enforce social distancing. Because it pays to have to have people three feet pays to have three people uh, away from you, three three feet behind you. Basta three, basta three feet away from you. It pays to have that large a personal space. Because, well, bugahan ka man ng virus, it's not going, it's not going to land on you. Okay? Walang laway, walang laway na ganong kalakas ang talsik. Alright? Human saliva doesn't travel that far unless you're too close to it. So, three feet is the most ideal way to to uh to to flatten to to flatten this curve viruses don't live that long when they're outside the human body when outside an organism's body they don't live that long tatlong oras lang ang taning ng mga yan even even the you know what tatlong oras lang ang taning yan tatani pwede mo na taningan ng tatlong oras yan pag nasa labas na ng katawan yan it will die Three feet is going to do it. Okay? <clears throat> until, okay, until a study says that this virus can be airborne, three feet is the safest. Okay? Face masks, hindi yan yun eh. Okay? Face masks can only protect you from pollutants, allergens, and most bacteria and viruses. If you're, if the type of face mask you're using is an N95, yan, virus. Pero, I don't think it's going to protect you from this virus. The only mask that can protect you against this virus is a gas mask or a biohazard mask. Sigurado, walang bacteria, virus, pulutan, or allergen na makakapasok sa, na makakapasok sa ilong o sa bibig mo. Right. Biohazard mask, a gas mask, or even even a hazmat suit. Completely wrap yourself in plastic. Wala makakapasok na virus or bacteria. That's the only way. Pero if you are if you're going to require by law to wear a face mask, isa lang mangyayari diyan. People will get asphyxiated. People will experience asphyxiation. If you're if they're too long outside, tapos sa face mask sila kung ano buong araw, kakapos na ng hininga yan. Ako ha, half day ko lang suod yung face mask mo, kinakapos na ako ng hininga eh. Okay? Because my, because the face masks I use here, one, one of the face masks I use here has an air filter. Okay? The, the Jojo, the Jojo face mask you, you see me wearing, May air filter yun. Okay. It shields me from pollutants, allergens, and most bacteria, and most airborne bacteria. Air filter kasi tawa. Kaya nga air filter. Eh. But it's no guarantee. It is no guarantee in any way that it will protect me from this virus. Alright? No wearable face, no wearable Washable face mask can protect us from this virus. The best way to protect yourself against this virus is social distancing and, of course, regular hand washing. And, of course, well, just sa America nga eh. Right? Right now, in the United States, people are People are gathering on the streets, protesting the use of face masks. Kasi alam nila magiging health consequences nun. Huwag natin pag-usapan yung uh, depriving of civil liberties. Let's talk about the health implications. Yun lang eh. You wear a face mask 
and you're outside the house all day long, you will you will experience shortness of breath. I'm telling you, ako, half day pa lang ako naka, naka face mask, kinakapos na ako ng hininga. Right? It's just a temporary solution. Why do lawmakers are so infatuated with temporary solutions? I don't know I don't know what their logic is. Okay? Social distancing, regular hand washing are more permanent solutions. Especially social distancing. You should make that into a law. Yan ang dapat gawing batas. Social distancing. Through that, we can flatten the curve. We can we can put we can put an end to all this madness. I say, well, you've seen it in the news, kanina. Nabaliwala na naman ang social distancing sa isang lugar sa Quezon City because of the social amelioration program. Nabaliwala! Alright? Is that, um, is social distancing that hard to enforce? Ha? Huh? Gawin nyo ng batas yan eh. Tignan natin kung hindi susunod yung mga tao. All right. That is my uh, that is my opinion on the matter. Face masks aren't the solution to this. But social distancing is. I just went through a YouTube video that um that's titled how I uh how I quit caffeine cold turkey uh, it's from Alex Becker it's from Alex Becker now he quit according to him he quit he quit coffee cold he quit caffeine altogether caffeine drinks uh, cold turkey is <clears throat> he would um, he think he feels uh, he think he feels withdrawal symptoms and that, that's not that's not his wording but to me it's it's He's assuming that it is withdrawal symptoms when he doesn't get, when he doesn't, uh, when he doesn't drink these. He feels uh, demotivated when he doesn't drink these. He doesn't feel productive when he doesn't drink these. Well, <clears throat> not all caffeine drinks are good. Okay, for me, the only caffeine drink I, I drink right now is coffee. Okay, but. It's not in the drink. For me, it's not in the drink. It's the habit. It's the habit of, of drinking it. How frequent, when, and where you drink it. Okay? So, here's a little trick for you guys. Alright? So, keep on watching. Here's my little trick for you. It's a three-step process. Number one, never drink coffee when you're stressed out. So you all know, ca coffee has caffeine, right? You do not want to, to drink coffee when you're stressed out, okay? You will be burning yourself out because um, it gives, caffeine gives that energy boost. But when you're stressed out, that's dangerous. You will burn yourself out, right? Number two. Do not drink coffee at night. Okay? <clears throat> I don't know why people complain of um, bad sleeping habits. But when you ask them, are you drinking coffee at night? Half of them will say yes. It is stupid. Okay? It is idiotic to drink any caffeine drink at night. Especially before bedtime. Hey, I've tried it before. I did not. I almost did not sleep. I almost did not get enough sleep. Okay. You would not drink coffee at night because it will carry over to the next day when you when you do sleep. Okay, it will carry over. And number three. Limit limit yourself to just one kind of caffeine drink. Me, I prefer coffee only. 
I don't drink those, uh, I don't do those energy drinks anymore. Not since, um, not since my late 30s. Okay. <clears throat> energy drinks that are high in carbs and high in either carbs or caffeine. Okay. Can have dangerous, uh, can have dangerous effects on your body, especially the high caffeine ones. Okay. Magkakapalpitations ka pag hindi ka sanay. Okay? You will get palpitations. Whereas, uh, whether you have a healthy heart or not, it will cause palpitations. So, I stopped uh, drinking those kinds of energy drinks. Cold turkey. The only caffeine drink I drink these days is coffee. Black coffee. Okay? Uh, half and half. Yun lang. Nasa keto diet eh. <clears throat> well, so, there you have it. Those are my three... I call it my three tricks. I don't know if you can call them tips, but those are my three tricks to the, to drinking coffee. We've been um, we've been asked this question uh, once already by uh, by thought leaders on YouTube or even anywhere on social media. How much are you willing to pay for success? Now I don't mean I don't mean monetarily, okay? You pay your success monetarily, that's bad, okay? You did not earn you did not earn it the hard way. You did not you do not deserve that kind of success, okay? Remind re, let me remind you that. Well, I've done my share of uh, paying the price for for the goal of success basically well it can be a defining moment in your life to to know to actually know what it takes for you to get to the mountaintop so to speak get to the mountaintop of where you want to be or what you need to become Paying the price means, uh, well, knowing knowing the ropes, grinding, um, being being yourself, all right, and not not trying too hard on anything, all right. Bla, chilla, maranganon. Because if you become too conscious of it. You might not get there, all right? You might not get there, or if you do get there, you might not be happy. Okay. So, if you're uh, a budding influencer like me, well, I'm not. I don't want to say a budding influencer because I got a brand deal already. But if you're an influencer of any level, you should always ask this question when you're. When you're lazy, like I was, like I was a while ago, like uh, or absolutely discouraged with, with the results are you with the results you're getting. Ask yourself this question. Look in the mirror and ask yourself this question. What price are you willing to pay for success? All right. What price are you willing to pay for success? People have um, made the mistake of uh, following following their favorite artist, idolizing their favorite artist or entrepreneur. <clears throat> from where that artist or entrepreneur is now. Okay, you don't do that. All right. If you want to follow, if you want to take, if you want to take on the path that artist or entrepreneur has taken, you should go back to square one, to that artist or entrepreneur's uh, square one. Okay, that's how you. That's the proper way of modeling other people or on other things. 
there's a saying, success leaves clues. Very true. But, well, you do not compare your chapter 1 to someone else's chapter 20. Right? As, uh, as that meme from Instagram uh, would say. Okay? I, I saw that from a meme on Instagram. It's very true. Kasi, malaya na narating ng, ano eh, ng iniidolo mo eh. Nang finafollow mo na thought leader, entrepreneur, or artist. Malaya na narating nun. Whereas, ikaw, umpisa, nag-uumpisa pa lang. So, don't get into the excuse of, ay, ba't, ba't gano'n si, ano, <clears throat> ba't si Elon Musk, ganyan, ganyan ka na, ganyan ka na, Mayaman na, ganyan na. But si, um, but si, what you call it? But si Ariana Grande. Oh, sikat na sikat na. Oh, dami ng pera niyan. Don't, don't give yourself that excuse. If you're a budding artist, or entrepreneur, or, uh, or a thought leader, or a content creator, for that matter, you're just starting out. In order for you to effectively model to effectively learn from that person, from the person you're you're idolizing, you have to go back <clears throat> to that person's history, to, to their well, to their beginnings, how their story started. Okay, that's where you start learning. That's where you start learning. Okay. Again, never compare your chapter one to someone else's chapter 20. Let me put this, uh, let me put this uh, in Filipino. Papunta ka pa lang, pabalik na sila. If you're Filipino, you get one, you've probably gotten what I'm saying. Okay? That's how you should model other people. Do not do not compare yourself to what they are now. Compare yourself to where to where they were, to what they were uh, before that. To what they were way before that. That is how, that is the proper way of modeling other people.